Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Bioskill Circle and today we are going to discuss the general characteristics of phylum Porifera, right? The first general characteristic is body with pores. These are pore wearing animals and they are commonly called sponges. Pores are of two types, numerous and smaller called ostia and one of few larger called oscula which act as inlets and outlets of water current, right? Second characteristic is cellular level of organization. These have cellular level of organization. It means that the animal body is formed of loosely arranged cell aggregates, but these cells don't coordinate to form tissues. Third one is asymmetrical. These organisms are asymmetrical means they have no symmetry. When body cannot be divided into two similar parts from any direction or plane, then that type of body is called asymmetrical. Right? These organisms are diploblastic means that they have two germ layers in the embryo. Gastrula is with two layers. Outer layer is called ectoderm and inner layer is called endoderm. Between these germ layers, an undifferentiated non-cellular and gelatinous mesoglea is present, right? If we talk about nutrition of these organisms, then these organisms are omnivorous and holozoic in nutrition, right? And digestion is intracellular. These organisms, they have simple body design. That's why excretion and respiration occurs through general body surface by diffusion. Right? These organisms are ammonotelic, means they excrete ammonia. Mostly these organisms are marine, except spongilla, which is found in fresh water. Right? These organisms have coenocytes whose flagella beat and maintain water current. The organisms of this phylum have a peculiar canal system whose central cavity is called spongocele or paragastric cavity. Right? A water current flows through canal system and helps in nutrition, respiration, excretion and reproduction. Now let's talk about their endoskeleton. These have endoskeleton of either calcareous spicules. Calcareous means needles made up of calcium carbonate or siliceous spicules. Siliceous means needles they are made up of silicic acid or of spongin fibers. Right? Asexual reproduction generally occurs by fragmentation or external budding or gamules or internal buds, right? These organisms have very high power of regeneration. Most of the sponges are bisexual or hermaphrodite. If we talk about their development, then development is indirect and includes free swimming larva, that is amphiblastula larva. This larva is half 
flagellated and half non flagellated or parenchymal larva for dispersal right